Hi chickens, how are you all doing today? Chickens is my endearing term for um, usually my family when we're all together. So yeah, you are all special and family to me. Right, it's Angela of course and it's Tuesday. Time for a little video in this on this gloomy day. It's pretty gloomy today. I've had to put the light on to get some warmth into the frame. Right, so what has she got here you say well i'll show you in a minute but it looks pretty doesn't it and we're going to make one of these today so that we have one for each signature right so this is what it is i've got my little signature page open here if i can just get the pages right so i've got this one I'll just move that along i've gone towards the back so it's this peachy page just behind the bird's Okay, the bird box, right? And what we've got here is a belly band. So we're going to make one of these to fit like that on our page. And then we're going to take two of our postcard ephemera bits or any ephemera that you want. And once I've stuck it down, we will then uh, put these two behind here, just like that. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And any ephemera bits would work well in here even little envelopes or you know little note notelets or anything like that so that's what we're going to make today so let me just show you uh this opens we've got a little closure here and two eyelets so i've just used a bow to close it together i've sewn lace around here um and then you've got your tag in the middle which I've made specially for this. I'll show you how I do that. Um, and lovely big tag, and I love that angel. So that's going in here. This is lined, so it's pretty when you open it as well. So that just fits in there snugly, so you don't need to worry about it falling out. And then the lace just um, overlaps, that's the word. And you just tie it again, and there you have it. Yeah keen to make one come and follow along with me all right so going to move this to the side show you what you need um we will be using the following so i'm going to put it into this signature here uh before the middle just a page or so before you've got this lovely lemon lace page i'm going to put this one in over there all right so just thought I'd share that with you. So what do you need? Well, you want two sheets of paper. I'm going to use this green background one. It's got a, touches of yellow in it, lemon. I'm going to line it with pink polka dot background paper, which comes in that Secret Garden background pages kit. All right, so it's like a peachy pink. So those two are going to be my, the bit for here and the lining bit inside all right so that's what we're going to use there you want to get some lace so i'm using this um, lovely crocheted soft cotton lace i've got i used this on this one um, and i thought i'd use uh, the green for this one then i've got a butterfly i'm going to use two eyelets just as a closure and i've got you need I'm using two die cuts. I used the raspberry color over here to pick up on this bow. And I'm going to use the green to them on the one we're going to make now. All right, so that's all you need. Your glue and the usual tools. And then um, you want your ephemera. So I'm going to use these two for this one. And I used these two for the other. Okay, so those go in there. And these will go into this one and then I made a tag I'm going to show you um, what I've done so don't stress about it at this point um, the piece of paper that I used for that but this is the the first page of that signature we're using the spare sheet like that so in your printed kit you would have had your double paged pages and you've got a set that's single uh, printed with just these on you're going to take this one and we're going to make a tag out of there and a tag out of there all right so that's what that's about let me put that back over there right 
we'll get to that later. So here's the one with the, the sort of gateway and the angel was the other bit there. All right, so I've got something to make it easier for you. I have a template which I cut out, which I have put in my Facebook group. So um, if you are a member, fans of Angela Kerr Designs, you are welcome to pick that up in the files um, there. Or, you know, if you're not a member, think about joining. Um, if you really uh, have a problem <laughs> with either of those things, then contact me on my email address, which is in the description box below this video or any one of my videos at the bottom all right so you can contact me and i'll try my best to um do that for you all right i don't want to put it into the shop the shop charge me uh well paypal and that charge you so i don't want to say it's free uh when it's one or two pages really that's just crazy you know i don't mind doing it if it's a load but right um so this is what it looks like that's i've just hand drawn that um so that will uh, be in my Facebook group. And then this is the tag, excuse that, I haven't um, shown you the printed out copy because I haven't scanned them up in, in yet. All right, so you won't have a mark there, it'll be clear, but uh, that tag fits into this piece here. All right, so that's what it is. I have then printed those out. Um, it's on hard paper here. This is 260 GSM, but you can use any cereal box, any kind of food grade um, pasta box that, or anything you have, print it out, stick them on there and cut it out. All right. Um, and that's all you need to do. This was my pro forma one that I used initially just to make work it all out. And when I was doing all the measuring, I thought, make a template, Angela. So it's going to cause nightmares. Right. So I've taken all the, the difficulty out of it to make sure that these meet in the center and that everything's right. If you don't want to put lace on it, because um, that is the most difficult bit, uh, you still can join these up. They're going to meet perfectly. And there you go. All right. Um, if you don't have eyelets, you can use ring reinforcers. If you've got um, a little 15 mil or three quarter inch circle punch or something like that and a normal paper punch you can make your own ring reinforcers so there are options right so i've done all of that and that is now that and i don't need to cut out the tag because i've already backed mine on your card there we go all right so i'm going to just put them up at the top there hopefully i remember to load that oh my goodness can you imagine right so what do we want to do well it's not hard I am going to take this piece, and like I've been doing a lot lately, we're going to stick this piece on top of it. That way we're guaranteed that they meet up perfectly, and that's what I like. So I'm going to do this half, I think. Well, I might as well just do it all, because you can always use the other bits for tags and other things, uh, you know, that you aren't going to use today. So there's no problem with that. So I'm going to just get that all stuck down. I'm using my glue stick, so that's all right. I'm now sticking this on top. That was just a reprint, so, you know, I have lots of reprints <laughs> for whatever reason. I do use them all, though, so it's not, you know, I do a lot of printing. Right, so there we go. We've got those two together. It also makes it nice and robust as well for what you want to do. Now, uh, you want to take your template now. You can fit it this way um, to save on paper. Or you could do it the other way. It's up to you. But this is going to be fine. We are going to just draw with our pencil. Pencil, because if you make a mistake, you can easily rectify it. Now you see, I've just moved that now, right. Now you want to just go along here. Go carefully around the corners. Like that. Templates are easy. They make your life easy. When I was working on this last night and doing all this measuring, I thought, oh gosh, everybody's going to go mad if I have to explain all of that too complicated make a template and now you don't have to think about anything so how good is that so we'll call i don't know what we're going to call that the belly band template so when you're looking for it that's what you're looking for right i am going to use my um 
knife but please feel free to use whatever is you're comfortable with if that's scissors that's fine right um i like precision so i use the knife okay so we've got that loose that's useful for another uh, project on another day and so i was needed to take off a little bit here now when you print yours off if you print it borderless it'll be slightly bigger if you print it the normal size with a border it's going to be fractionally smaller so just work out what's best for you you know right that's everything i needed to cut out so that's good let's take this away okay now you want to um just take your bone folder now i do have the fold lines not on this one but the one you're going to print out marked there but you can see it's just from the edges so you don't really need to draw them it's just so that i could show you on that drawing so it's just a case of matching up those edges there and taking your bone folder and just drawing the line there now this one is going to be on the outside so just bear that in mind i will go and do this on the other side as well so we're just going to match those up there like that oh we jumped out the way there you go now if you do the same thing on the other side it just makes it a bit easier when you're folding so again i'm going to just join those up like that and on the other side oh i think the sun is making a little appearance i was fortunate to get the laundry done this morning two loads and Paige said to me 10 minutes before i ran up here mom it's starting to rain so i thought oh gosh just let's get that in i am lucky that i have a um what do you call it like a gazebo thing that covers my hot tub um so i was able to put my air dryer there just for the the sort of smalls let's say just so that i could weren't quite dry so that's fortunate but the the big things on the line were actually all dry so i was lucky there just in time if you do it early enough i think then you're all right right i'm going to just quickly give this a little distressing um this is not difficult now that you have a template it was quite something trying to work it out but it's going to be perfectly easy now and you'll be making these for all your journal projects you could mass make these as well and then fill in the tags you know when you've uh, ready to do so so this is a great mass make right so i'm going to just put my ruler down here because i don't want this i want to just fold this up now i'm just easing it in <laughs> easing that in there we go now it is going to loosen a little bit because i've used glue stick but i will be stitching mine um if you are not able to use a sewing machine or you don't have one just um use a stronger glue all right or at this point when you have that just go and take the stronger glue and put it around the edges okay so that's that's important to know so i'm just going to again hold my ruler here um and then just ease it in like that now when i was doing this last night i did think oh i'm going to sandwich the lace in between it was too much hassle but if you've got all the patience in the world you can sandwich your lace in between the two but i thought no i'm not going to after half an hour struggling with that i thought no i'm going to do the easy route so i'm going to share the easy route with you right now um with this i am going to just put a little bit more glue so you want to be doing this if you're not stitching but i'm going to just put a little bit more glue because as i said to you glue stick is not strong it, it's better if you leave this overnight to be fair but because i am you know 
folding this all and doing it right now it doesn't really have time to uh, adhere properly so yeah this is probably not the greatest thing to use but I'm as I say I'm not worried because I will be stitching um, mine so it's not going to be a problem really okay right I must say this belly glue has not clogged up once um so i'm very impressed with it okay so i'm happy with that you've got we've got everything done i haven't uh distressed the edges here so we want to do that before we go and put our lace on if any of you have been watching outlander season seven let me know um what you think so far um, they're in the Americans, is it the War of Independence? The one in the 1778-79? My American friends will have to tell me, but it's that stage. And very interesting. I learned so much history from watching um, or reading books mostly, but uh, films where they've used accurate information to base their storyline on i i do find it very intriguing and that's how i've learned most of the history um i love historical dramas okay so we've got all of that done now what i want to do is let's just give it a good burnish here right and this side too there we go. I like how those colours work together. That's going to look good. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this lace and I'm going to use my fabric tack. I filled up my bottle so it's not so, you know, it doesn't give me a hard time. I'm going to just take the little pin out here. Now, this is a lot of bits on here, so I'm hoping this is going to be, yeah, that should be all right okay so i did it from underneath i did start i've tried different things and i'm giving you uh from my learnings here so let's start on this side and you want to put the glue on the inside so close to the top here and i'm going to go a little bit across there but i will end up trimming it so i'm going across here and here like that right so i'm gonna i'm gonna put it up to that sort of line there right so i can see through from the bottom where the line is and so i can get it pretty even which is good right so we'll do that now it is tricky around this bit here and you've got to really uh manu oh what was that there's ghosts in the room. <laughs> I think it was my eyelids that must have fallen down or something in the drawer. Not loose, but you know, they're in a packet. But it did make me jump now. Right, so I've just maneuvered that around there like that. And quite happy with that. Yeah, so on that side you can see what it's going to look like now. All right, so we've got that there. And then with my scissors, I'm just going to trim this off here. Okay. And the same here. There we go. All right, now that will be too short for that side, so we'll wind that back on. I need to get another piece here. I'm going to... Right, so... Again, we're going to do the same over here. So, yeah. Go close to the edge. Now, again, you don't need to stitch this, but I like to stitch it. Um, but if this fabric tag would hold this lace in place. So, yeah, don't feel you have to. Do you see, you don't have so much pleating going on here or unevenness when you use the ruler to edge it over, ease it over gently. Another little tip I've learned. Right, so we're going to just 
get that over there. Pat, 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 pat. There we go. And then just sort of wiggle it around, maneuver it. And cotton is quite pliable, so it's a it's not a tight, tight, tightly woven lace. This so it works well. It's nice and soft. So there we go. We want that there. And it's all looking good to me. Alright. And we can just cut that off. And on that side as well. So I'm just going straight across. There we go. Right. Enough of you and you. I'll sort that out later. Okay. So we've got that bit done. So, so far, so good. So that will look like that. And that will look like that. Okay, this one needs a little bit more glue. I can just see this piece is lifting up here. But again, if you're going to sew across there, that's fine. Okay, so we've got that there. And we've got that. That'll tuck over. That'll be like that. And there we go. So just take your bone folder and get that over there. Right. There we go. How pretty does that look? Yeah. Right. I'm going to put on my eyelets now. Um, and as I say, if you don't have that, then use your um, make little circles and a paper punch will do the same thing. Your reinforcement circles. So with this, I'm just going to take my ruler. I just want to get the, the sort of same point here. So if I put that there I want to just get that the same here so yeah we're sort of looking the pencil probably that one needs to come a little bit more over but just draw it so that you know where you're going with this because it's not easy to see with this right I'm going to open this up now get my lace in here and I'm going to go like that. Now, it does tend to clog up a little bit, but that's okay. You just put your little eyelet in and squash it. Yeah, this was a, a fun little project to do. Right, there we go. And then we want to do the same over here. So turn that round and get that squash there, another little one. And there we go, really easy. Okay, so we've got those in place as well. Good. See, really quick and easy to do. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bow on just to hold them together. Uh, no, oh, no, maybe not. Go like this. And let's put the plate on there. <laughs> right, if you've got a one-way design, bear that in mind when you are going to now close this. This doesn't really have a one-way, but I would suppose that the leaves go up, so I'm going to have it like that. Um, I'm going to take these little goodies now and I'm going to stick one of each on each side. So with this one, I went that way. Yeah, there's a very narrow distance here. So I'm going to get that stuck down and um, with this one, I'm going to go the other way. So that one will go like that. Don't get them over the fold line. Let me do that quickly and I'll okay, I've got all my glue on the back there. And then this one I'm going to put just over there. And before I press it down, I'm making sure that that little leaf is not going to go over that fold line. Um, like that. All right, so we've got both of those on. And I was going to put on a butterfly. I'm not sure if I, I want to or not. Yeah, why not? I think I'm going to turn him a little bit that way. Well, we'll see when we, we close it up. So we've got that there now. Turn it over. 
and um, grab your ribbon. Um, so I'm going to just put that in there and in here. I'm going to take my tag now and I'm going to put that in there. So that's great. That's going to go in place over there. And this is going to give it a cuddle. <laughs> so we're going to just pull that close. Now, when I pull it close, I'm just overlapping the one less piece over the other like that. So they lie flat. And then I'm going to do a little bow. There we go. And then I'm just going to cut it off over there like that and that looks so cute I do like it and then it's just a case of do I want this little butterfly on maybe that side yeah it doesn't matter if it pokes a little bit over the lace um, these butterflies come from my flowers and butterflies printed kit but of course I have these in my pastel butterflies as well as a digital so you know that i've had that for a while i will probably be doing some more butterflies very soon and some more goodies let's see i'm going to get it just over there all right right that is good to go i am going to close that up and we are going to now put these together in our journals so here's the first one and this one i want to put over here with the yellows um, i'm going to just move that out the way for the moment and i'm going to get that stuck down i'm going to use my pencil um, and my board so that's the edge and i'm just guiding using a rough guide here i think that's about straight so I'm just going to put two little lines there just so I know when I put the glue on. Well, I'm not going to put glue on. I'm going to put tape on. Um, that Those are where I must go to. I'm going to use this. You can use glue. I do find that um, this is great for this kind of, for belly bands because it's firmer. I'm just going to put a piece onto the base. like that and then the same at the top and oops there we go there we go and then um, we will be able to stick that down like that yeah so let's do that quickly. So I'm going to just take, not this one. Okay, so now we've got that right. We've got our little line, so we don't need to panic. So line it up there, line it up there. And you can now let it go without stressing if it's straight or not. All right, so there we have this one in place. And then, as I said, we've got these two. So this is going to go this way. And this one is going to go on top of that one as my two pieces of ephemera for that. Yeah. Um, and then I will do the same with the other as well. Okay, so, so I've got my tape on. And um, again, we want to just line that up like that. There we go. And just press it there, press it there, and we're good to go with that one as well. So with this, we've got these two pieces. So this one and this one, I've lined them all with my lace paper. And I'm going to just put those two in there so that's there and that is there and there's no chance that those are going to come out and there we have our two little belly bands 
today and how pretty are those with those little bows on the front yeah i hope that you go and give it a try go and um join the facebook group if you haven't already um and pick up the template over there and uh, give it a go because i'm sure that you're going to have lots of fun putting these together and as i say i think it could make be a great mass make just even if it's the bases that you get ready all right everyone have a lovely tuesday i hope you find some lovely uh, time to relax and craft and give yourself a little break uh, not wasn't too much of a um time consuming project but lots of fun and as you can see i didn't stitch that one but you know you don't have to always stitch it if you put enough glue on it okay everyone i will see you again on friday with another little exciting project take good care of yourselves thank you so much for watching and for taking the time to comment i appreciate you all and i'll see you friday bye bye <music>